What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Corset Cube draft. Probably one of the, the last remaining because the Corset Cube goes away tomorrow or today when you're, if you're watching this on Thursday. <clears throat> um, this is a stipulation from Alan, Alan Beck, otherwise known as Admiral Akbar. And the stipulation is the Stan Lee Stip in honor of our fallen leader. Uh, must take cards that have alliteration in their names or feel especially marvelly. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, Black Cat would definitely be a marvel card. I uh, I agree with you. Also, if there's a card named Peter Parker, you can take that one. Protean Hulk would be uh, be an option. Mary Jane. What is that? Mm. We also have Dairy Queen. Mary Jane? Mm-hmm. I don't think Mary Jane as a character or as marijuana is going to be in the draft. Okay. Why are you I'm just playing my little horn. It's a good horn. It's not that great of a horn. I was just being nice. How dare you. I'm sorry. I mean, you know what this was. Uh, I'm not in a class right now. But no, the answer is no. I actually don't know how to sub from the phone app. I wish I did. I don't even know if there is a way. Uh, it seems like that would be a priority for Twitch, but... So I, sub from the phone? Yeah. I think I might have done that. Oh, I'm not sure. You'll let me know if you figure it out. What's up, RPG Badger? All right, Marvel stipulation. Let's do it. I don't know if it's going to work out very well. I don't know how much alliteration is actually in this cube. Literally none in this pack, unfortunately. So, is there any Marvely type cards in this pack? This says hero in the title. It does say hero in the title. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's Let's check our other options though, just to be sure. I don't think there's anything else that's going to be close um, to that. Murder is kind of a comic thing. Um, I think very very few comics actually ha have the, actual the murder villains them, murder. I don't know if there's actually. Yeah, well, I think hero is probably stronger than murder though. Not not as a card, but as a theme. Right. I'm gonna take the Kithian. I think that's probably as close as we're gonna get. I don't even man. I I forgot Pyro was even a character. Jeez, talk about a. Did Pyro die? And then it's like, stay dead. That is an X-Men villain you did not hear about. Oh, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, he was on the X-Men cartoon a bunch. That's probably where I recognize him from. Yep. Interesting. Primeval Titan. That's like a Hulk-like character. Um... He's green and thick. Oh, Smash is also a Hulk like uh that's a Hulk thing. Giant growth, that's uh that's some alliteration right there. This is Marley. <clears throat> oh, Solemn Simulacrum is actually even a better alliterative name. I, I, I think that's the card right there. Yeah. That's a Solemn Simulacrum, true believers. I'll take Solemn Simulacrum here. Passing for passing Primeval Titan feels bad. But Soul of Thanos. <laughs> that's not. That's actually not terrible. Hmm. I don't think there's any alliteration here, unfortunately. However, Soul of Thanos is a decent. Uh, I can't really see anything else that would really that I would lean towards. In terms of like a a Marvely card, and soul you could like it's it's actually a double entendre because you have soul you can have the soul gem, yeah, and there and Thanos that's actually soul stone, soul well, which ones are in the movie? The gems or the stones? In the movie, the stones. Right, so you corrected me to gem to stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, buddy. They've been called gems for for years. Well, currently they're stones. <sighs> oh god! <laughs> you just stone splained. <laughs> I hate you. I try not to. It's they make it. It's real difficult. Hmm. 
Peter Parker made a demonic pack once. Peter Parker did make a demonic pack once. Hmm. Hmm. Not that I think we really want to play that card. I, I would love playing this card so much. This is definitely one of my favorite cards. I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards it because I don't see anything else that's even close. But how do we not die to it? You just destroy it. You get like a disenchant, or you try to anyway. Mm. This tip should include all planeswalker super friends. Yeah, I can see that. Well, it doesn't now, so. The Red Goblin is a character. That's actually funny. I'm just taking all the Red Goblins because the Red Goblin because of the Red Goblin. Seems good. Seems good. Um, huh. Thank you. It's not really anything in this pack that fits. Tiger Nate, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back, buddy. There's nothing in this pack that fits. That being the case, I actually don't know what to take. Blackmail, like blackmail happens in comics. I'll take a blackmail. I don't know. That was iffy. Um, Blessed Spirits, Bromo Crush, Content. So, the alliteration in these packs is not where we want it to be, unfortunately. So, you kind of just have to take the most uh, hero-y card. The most Marvel-y cards. I moved to a village population 40. I'm moving. Is that true? I can't actually tell what part of that is true. Day of Judgment? Is Day of Judgment good? We could take this. Pharaoh. All three of these are, are possible. It's basically just uh, Apocalypse. Oh, see, that's good. That was good. Uh, let's cultivate Daring Apprentice, Lux of the Warhammer, Herb Lord, Mark of Mutiny. That is probably the pick. It's not going to make our deck, but. You don't know that yet. No? Yeah, this is true. Yeah, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Backlight, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Happy nine months. Cranko's command. Why? Because it's alliteration. Oh, it is alliteration. Dang. I mean, they're not the same letter, but right. But it doesn't matter. That's not. You're right. All right. So this is the first back game. <coughs> I Surrect the Awakener is also alliteration then. Right? Like that's that that counts, right? Kind of, maybe not. Yeah. It's close Stretching. enough. Stretching. I think it's close enough. Okay. I'm game. Hmm. Smash. This is very Hulk like. We can just put this in the sideboard. We can take whatever cards we want. Yeah, we can just, uh, we can use the Venom loophole where we get to just take anything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was my impression on Mike. Thank you. Oh, wow. Zaxor, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, Torch Fiend? Torch Fiend. Why does that sound so familiar? You and Torch is a... Oh, this is this could be you and Torch. Oh, Colossus is also a magic card. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. We're gonna or not. A, it's a Marvel Marvel character rather, not a magic card. This is a Red Goblin. Necromantic summons. Is there anything about that? Scarlet Witch does that, right? This does actually look like the Scarlet Witch. I'm gonna. Yeah. This is okay. I'll take this. Uh, any of these? I don't think Lord Goyf does anything. Look at that neck, though. <laughs> don't say it. I guess it's probably Coat of Arms. Uh, Day of Judgment is definitely... 
more marvelly. Oh, Sarah Angel. All right, so interesting. Bob's Clark, what's going on? <coughs> Thank you. MTG Pyro, eight months in a row. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Mystifying Maze. Ooh, I hope there's something better than that. <laughs> I don't think there is. Is there anything that we can justify over... Scuttling Doom Engine does have Doom in the name. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> It'd be a far better pick. I agree. I agree. Maybe it'll table. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it would table. Why wouldn't we just take it? Then we should take it. Okay. Why wouldn't we just take it? And his answer is, then we should take it. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that was good. That's a good sentence. I don't think there's anything else, right? If this is a Stanley Morrow draft, they need to make sure you... I can't 5-0 a three-round three draft. I can't I can't do it. Uh, just going to end <clears throat> Kona Flame. War up. Oh, this has Valken in the name. Terror. Hmm. That's a good one. Hmm. Anything? Anything in here? We're clearly Mardu. <laughs> We're not Mardu. Okay, that was... Yeah, the Demon Squeakon was actually pretty good. You have a knight or a soldier for War Falcon to work? Did you That's say awkward. What? The War Falcon? Yeah. Right, that, I don't think the War Falcon's even playable. We should have a couple outs. Um, I like Triskelion because... Actually, is that the name of the... Yeah, Triskelion... No, wait, Triskelion is basically... Isn't that the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters? Yeah, the Triskelion is what the is what S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, that's fantastic. Triskelion is literally S.H.I.E.L.D.'s base of operations. That's fantastic. That's so good. Nailed it. I nailed it. This reminds me of the Mandarin. I could see taking the ring. Oh, sure. You could see taking Soren's Vengeance, because Vengeance is a big thing in comments. Comics. In comments? In the comments. comments section? Yeah. Put in the comments below. Put in the comments below how big a vengeance plays in the part of your comment. <clears throat> and then slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, I think it's actually a ring here. Hit the bell. We also have a lot of... <laughs> Make sure you hit that bell. And then you get notifications. Every time we go live. Harm's Way is very comic-y because you, you, want, you always want to keep civilians out of Harm's Way. Uh, Pariah, also very, very comic book flavored. Uh, Molten Birth is kind of what what Mike went through when he was born. So, uh... Did kind of, I? Yeah, you went through that Molten Birth. Did I? Yeah, the Molten Birth. Hmm. You can keep asking. It's still going to be yes. Okay. Alright. What do you think? What does Pariah do again? Uh, all damage that we dealt to you is dealt to an enchanted creature instead. I got got. Harm's Way is probably a better card. All right, we'll take the Harm's Way. <clears throat> this is some alliteration here. Smash to smithereens. Uh, I think it's probably the best pick for us. Mind control is good. I can see that being comic themed, but I think Smash is probably uh, the most useful for this deck that we have going here. Warp World. Oh. That's some alliteration. I'm kind of, yeah, and I'm also kind of uh, excited to try that out. Especially with, like, Kranko's Command and... Oh, does... We could shuffle the Demonic Pack back in the deck. Well, guess I don't have to die now. It's eight mana, though. <clears throat> so we play this on six. 
On seven, we get the... No, on we play this on like five, right? On five... On six, we get the first activation. On seven, we get the, the second activation. Mm-hmm. On eight, we get the third activation. We play Warp World, and then we'll never get the fourth activation, which is the, the dead. What if you Warp World and you get it back? Cool. Mm, That'll not probably so be cool. dead. That'll be dead. Oh, it's our grandma. Oh, hey. How you doing, grandma? Grandma Tarkin. That's from Star Wars. Did you know that? What now? Shut up. Who's a Star War? <laughs> Say, who's a Star War? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Man, my throat is scratchy. Did you get those cookies I mailed you? No, Grandma, I didn't get those cookies. Did you send them? How did you send them? By carrier pigeon? Did you get those cookies with the white powder on them? <laughs> now we're on an FBI watch list. Way to go. There you go. Oh, armored ascension. Oh, heroic reinforcements. Mm, yeah, that's the most. That's the most card ever. Oh, postal postal express. I was glad because I didn't want to take either of these. Elixir of immortality. Also not bad. You mean as a magic card or as a stip card? No, as, as a like. I mean, it's Captain America, right? Like it's a super soldier serum. Oh sure. I mean, there's lots of characters who've taken a similar thing to a. a an elixir of mortality. I'm going to take this heroic reinforcements. Oh, hammer of Bogarden. Oh, and captain's call. Oh, hammer of Bogarden. Obviously, Mjolnir. Like not even, not even a question. Sure. Captain's call, it's the alliteration, and it has a Captain America reference right on the card. Yeah. Also, so. captain's call are good with Warp World. True. What do you think? Well, it's good and bad. It's good because it makes more permanence. It's bad because if you flip it, it doesn't do anything. You flip it? What do you mean? In your warp world, you only get permanence. Oh. Whatever. What do you think, man? Okay, well, we got Captain's Call because you didn't, you didn't say anything. Way to go. Way to go, Michael. You can't blame me. I did. You didn't hear me? Okay. I did, actually. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> I did hear it. Dang it. <clears throat> Um, I think it's probably Mystifying Maze here. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to play it, obviously, because it's a colorless land and a three-color deck now. Um, yeah, Falcon. It is what it is. It's not great, but we already went over that this was a very, very uh, on-theme pick here. Uh, Knight is probably the pick here. It's got to be Vengeance. Well, I don't think so. Like, Knight is... There's Knights everywhere. Is there? I think so, right? Yeah, Moon Knight. That's one. Black Knight. <clears throat> is that an actual Marvel character? Yes. Oh. I don't know nothing about that. The Dark Knight. Batman's the Dark Knight, but that's obviously that's not. That's DC. Right. I'm like, that's not actually Marvel. <clears throat> um, I don't think any of these have any sort of relation. I'm going to take the Springs just so our deck is moderately playable. Uh, none of these really have any sort of connection. Fling? Actually, this is great because it reminds me of uh, uh, Fastball Special. You know what that is? Nope. Well. That's sad. <laughs> Spazio, I did see, your, I did see your, your Joker cosplay. You can tell because I liked it. That is correct. Yeah, it was very good. I was impressed. <clears throat> What's the pick here, Michael? I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, we have the Colossus for the Fastball Special. That's gas. Fastball Special is when Colossus throws Wolverine at uh, a target. Oh. Like, he literally throws Wolverine. <laughs> it's like a, It's like an old... It's an old-timey thing. Well, none of these have alliteration. Right, right. So we're leaning towards. I'm like. So I'm what's kinda, the best card? I'm kind of leaning towards reprisal. For like a a comic-y thing. Honor the pure is fine. I feel like reprisal could also we could make the same argument for reprisal. Honor the pure seems like a very nationalist. Take card. the green infinity stone. <laughs> 
Honor of the Pure does seem kind of... Yeah, that seems real... We'll, we'll use the term nationalist. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean pure? Let's, let's go over that. Hmm. Mm. We have Doom Dissenter. Mm-hmm. And we have Gear Per Gear Crafter. <clears throat> I think it's Gear Crafter. It makes two guys, again. Just good a better cool. card and also alliteration, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, this is coming along well. Uh, Resplendent Angel. Marble Diamond. That's actually pretty good for our deck because it is an Infinity Stone. Husk. I don't really see any connection there. Mutilate. There's a little red goblin in the pack. Um, I feel like there's always going to be a red goblin in the pack, though, right? <laughs> I want to take the Marble Diamond. I, I This is a very close connection to Infinity Stones. Don't you mean Infinity Gems? <laughs> I'll kill you. <clears throat> Heretical Healer. Hmm? Yeah. 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 And I bet this black cat comes back. I bet the black cat comes back. What do you think? You like Heretical Healer here? Yeah. I like Heretical Healer for the alliteration. <clears throat> so I'm going to take that, and I will assume this black cat comes right on back. Abbot of Carol Keep. Uh, Frexian Playlord. That is some alliteration. Why did you say this guy? Carol Keep. What about it? It's an alliteration. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and? <clears throat> hey, man, there's nothing in Marvel called Carol Keep. I don't know if you know this. Do you like that better than Playlord? I think Plague Lord's not that great. Really? Sack a creature to give a neg one, neg one to a dude when we have a bunch of tokens seems pretty good. That's fair. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Plague Lord. I was like, what do you what's the what's the problem? I don't understand Carol Keep. What is this? What about it? <clears throat> Righteousness is pretty uh Yeah, that's pretty comic y. Tenacious Dead, also pretty comic in the sense that, like, nothing ever stays dead in comic books. I feel like that's stretching. Really? All the, every dead character in, in Marvel, in, in comic books, is tenacious. <clears throat> you're, you're tenacious, you... S- tenacious D? Yeah. Fiery Conclusion. Hmm. I'm just going to take the Righteousness. Oh, Caves of Koilos. I like it as a land, there's and I an, also like that it alliterates here. There's an X-Men named Archangel? Yeah. Did you not know that? No. That means we can take that off the tables. Well, there wasn't a Blinding Angel. It's a Blinding Archangel? No, but there was a there was an Archangel something in the first pack we Archangel had. Archangel of Tides. Yeah. You're right. This is also alliteration, and you got a Johnny Adversary. I think we just want the land here, though. Especially because it is on color. Flames of the Firebrand. Yeah. That's good. I'll actually play well. Seems good. I'm still not taking this on principle, I think. <laughs> Just like, oh, no, I don't like it. Um, but also, like, we're three colors, so I'm not really super concerned with, like, maybe 40% or 50% of our creatures getting a, a buff. You can kind of take whatever we want here. War Priest. Oh, we should or... take War Priest. It kills our demonic fact. I actually kind of like that. I think that's main deckable. Well, it's nice to have an answer to your own thing. To your own thing. <clears throat> I can see it's not playing fair because it's triple black, which is going to be tough. Yeah, but sometimes it's free. And again, we don't have well, a way no, to mill. No, it's never free. It never comes into play. It goes on the top of your library. Oh, yeah. Mark of Mutiny can go out. We don't have playing uh, any sort of sack effects. <clears throat> Shortcutter, first response, chastise, mortivore, pile driver, exquisite firecraft. Hmm. First response, I could see because heroes always get there first. Good talk. Good talk. I guess. I mean, what else is there? 
Angel came yeah. back. Oh, this is just friendly angel. Yeah, this is angel. not the same one, but yeah. I mean, like, I still am on board with the. There is an X Men named Angel, so. Uh, a giant gold main that has nothing. Soul Warden. I think Raise the Alarm is probably the closest thing. Sure. Oh, the Archangel of Tithes did come back. I will take it. I'm super into the triple white Marvel draft. It's like all these comics I read for a reason. Yeah, there you go. It is triple white, but I mean, I, don't, I think it's more on theme than the other two. There's Captain of the Watch, Captain. That's true. That's actually true. It's true. Thirty cards. There's a lot of cuts. War Valkyrie's probably getting cut. Kithian's probably getting cut. Blackmail's getting cut. Why Kithian? It's just not very good. Oh, Blinding Angel. Angel again. Why don't I play that? I don't know. Five mana's a lot. I probably played Over Archangel of Tides, I guess. Yeah, a lot easier to cast. Yeah. Well, uh, Necromantic Summons is not great. <clears throat> okay. I think this actually went pretty well, all things considered. Mike is getting cut. Are you getting cut? Yeah, very badly, very deeply. Very badly, very deeply. So I ordered some cards from TCG Player, and my friend Nick works at TCG Player, and he's like, he got my order, and he sent it to me. Uh, as a, He messaged me when he got it, and he was like, hey, I just got a little order from you. And uh, he put a bunch of stuff in the actual in the actual order, one of which was this far-fetched. Uh, it's a little, it's a little green-screened here. Um... But yeah, it's, it looks like wow. It looks like a, it looks like it's plastic and see-through. It's not though. It's just green on it. Um, another one was this note, and it says, "Hi Frank, Commander Willie Wittershins Legends Knobs, Modern colon Apples Flare Flare Flare." And I have no idea what any of this means. Oh wow, that is green. I didn't think it was green. I thought it was more yellow, but here we are. Anyway, I have no idea what it says. I know what it means. And then he put this sticker on the inside, and it looks like a sloth, kind of flicking me off, maybe. And it says "Circle of Life, bitch." And uh, these are my, <laughs> these are my gifts from my friend Nick. He's a good dude. And uh, <clears throat> wow, this is this kind of service that would keep me ordering. <clears throat> it's these kind of custom gifts that really uh, that really make it worth it, you know. AKA hat mic, that is correct. What are we what are we cutting here? Um <coughs> Excuse me guys. Still um, my throat's a little scratchy. What so. does reprisal do? Reprisal kills a creature the power of four or greater. Don't try to regenerate it, you won't be able to. You can see cutting harm's way. Is Warboard that good? It's fun. We also have a lot of token makers. <clears throat> like, there's a lot of token makers, actually. Um, Colorless Man is not that great. We can cut Sisai's Ring. Lily is whenever a non token creature dies. So maybe, maybe we cut Liliana. You don't like Sisai's Ring? I think it's great. We have the Scuttling Doom Engine and Triskelion. We still need a lot of colorless mana for a lot of our things. We have 6 drop, 6 drop, 6 drop, 8 drop, 8 drop. I don't think we're cutting a ring, buddy. <coughs> so we need one more cut now? Or we can just 41 it. It's up to you. Hmm. I can see cutting fling. Hmm. That's 12 damage. <clears throat> that is 12 damage. I think we have a lot of good creatures to fling, though. I'm just going to play 41. Because we already have Sissé's Ring and Marble Diamond, too, so... <clears throat> Alright, let's see what happens. We have a lot of... A lot of heavy mana requirements here. 
Heavy breathing mana. So six mana. We have six. We're going to definitely take one of you out. Add one of you. Five, six. So this is seven. Three, four, seven, five, six. So this is seven of here, which we want because we have three warp world, I guess. Five and six. Actually, huh. we can probably go one more. Six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And we have Marble Diamond, don't forget. So, all right, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Got him. Time for shenanigans now, Michael. We have to battle. We also have a solemn simulacrum, so we have a ton of ways to. Oh, look at this beautiful hand. Keep it all day. Can you imagine our opponents like, oh man, they're going to kill themselves with Demonic Priest or Demonic Pact, and then we just play War Priest of Thune? <clears throat> Not now, but yeah, later. But in the future. Three black cards, all double black. Yeah, but they're all good, so. Also, this deck seems sweet. Come on, white mana. Dang it. I'll also take a red mana, but I would rather have a white mana into a this into this. And then, do we actually even play this on four? That's a little scary, right? <clears throat> one time. One time a thing. Okay, that was the exact... Oh. Not land. No, we literally can't cast anything right now. So, good times, good times. No gamble, no future. Yikes. So we get one turn, second turn, third turn, draw two. So we'll get five cards after Demonic Pact uh, before we... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we did it. It's not actually late, but we did it. <clears throat> So we'll see five cards before Demonic Pact, before we lose the game, after we play Demonic Pact. So, like, War Priest would have to be in the top five cards. Or we'd have to draw, like, Red, 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 Warp World. Wow, okay. Cool. <laughs> That's a nice combo. Now do we risk it? I don't think so. We can just play Triskelion next turn and shoot this guy. <coughs> they missed a land drop, so... That, when you're, that moment when your ice cream is basically soup. Who doesn't like ice cream soup? Some people don't. Those people are dumb. Those people are dumb. Um, okay, so not a single red source, even though red is our most represented color. <clears throat> Do I shoot this guy? I don't know. To trade for it? Well, it wouldn't be a trade. Our guy would survive. Triskelly doesn't have to kill himself. Oh, I thought he, I didn't know he was a 1-1. One -one. I didn't either, actually. I just realized that recently. I was like, oh, that's weird. Because a lot of times that's not the case. Oh my! They would have got a 2-2 two -two and they would have been... Uh, this guy would have been a 4-4. Four -four out of the range of our Triskelion. Okay, buddy. Listen. Red mana. Okay. Not red mana. Close. Alright, we have to do this now. Otherwise, we're just dead. Fingers crossed. Fingeals crossed. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Keep in mind that uh, <clears throat> we're seeing 5 out of 28 cards. I'm not sure what the odds are on that. 
for us to hit War Priest of Thune. I don't know if there's another card we can hit. Like, we theoretically could hit... Um, I'm not going to block here. Because this guy's just... If we, do, if we do manage to, like, Warp World somehow... I don't think we can actually Warp World here. Oh. Well then. Yep, that's pretty good. <clears throat> um... We do gain four here. That's nice. If we had a red mana, actually. Oh my god, we could have dealt four to this. And then dealt one and two to the other guy. That's so much worse now. Yikes. Oh, that's pretty bad. Do we have any other cards that can deal with this? Nope. Nope. So we draw another card. If it's another red, we can play it. And we get to make them discard. So we do have two more turns. So theoretically, it's possible to go red, red, warp world. But we're only going to see four more cards. And that's going to be three of them. So... What did they, what did they... How did they gain life there? Beacon of Immortality. Wow, they're at 66 life. Good lord. Okay. The Warp World Dream is... Oh, we're actually dead on board, aren't we? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we're just dead, I guess. <clears throat> wow. What would we have drawn there? Isareth. Okay. Not Warp World. So we would have died anyway. Man, Warp Priest of Thune is... Uh, he pulls weight. Pretty relevant in this matchup, it seems. <clears throat> Unfortunately... We don't really have any other answers to their floaty boys. <clears throat> Gonna get my NyQuil and pass out. NyQuil? Um, you know what? I'll risk it. That's what heavy breathing sounds like. Is that the heavy breathing cat? Madash, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. It's Madash. If you know what I mean. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well, this is how it this is how it ends. Can you be quiet, please? No. Rude. One time. Any land. Oh, no land at all. I like it when I play a three-color deck, not because I get mana screwed on colors, I just actually don't draw lands. Which can happen to any deck, really, but it's always going to happen to our deck. And that's how it works. So, It is how it works. It is how it works, unfortunately. Like, even if we hit a land here, we have no play. Like, it has to be, like, white-white or... Or triple red spell. Eight-man triple red spell. You know, whatever. Yeah, that's surprisingly hard to deal with. Hmm. Put Soul of Theros in the graveyard because it can actually do something from the graveyard. Return the slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And nothing. Yeah, so like even if we go land, like we'd have to have a... Th <clears throat> I mean, I guess we could hit Reprisal and then like really have to be lucky to actually come through here, but I don't think it's going to happen. They're probably just going to play Path of Bravery mm -hmm. and kill us this turn. That's my guess. You ready? Heliod's Pilgrim. Okay. Get that Spirit Link. I mean, the deck seems very good. <clears throat> okay. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that seems unnecessary, but alright. Yeah, now we have to find two answers, so. I 
I didn't mulligan solely because we had a three drop and a four drop. Like we had two four drops and a three drop, so like all we needed was two lands. Like it just doesn't feel like it was super necessary. <sighs> yep, that was a game. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Finally made it to see you live and not on YouTube. Hey, glad you could join us. Glad you could join us. TMO six life. <clears throat> Tiamo six life. Tiamo six life. <clears throat> no, that'd, that'd be Miyamo. Tiamo six life. Yeah, there you go. Que? Por que? Que? What? Que? Que what? Que? I don't know what you're saying right now. No hablo es stupido. You don't speak stupid? Si. <laughs> oh, well, clearly. My mistake. Si. <clears throat> All right, well, let's try again. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this because of the Sisse's ring. JK, going to Mole Town. All right, whatever, it's fine. Let's try this four mana... Four mana keep two land four man hand again let's see if we can change the results this time <laughs> we also got your boy Por qué? hey man measure your brain for me okay My brain is uh, 23 and a half inches. It sure is, buddy. It sure is. <laughs> Por qué? <clears throat> All right, well, now he plays here. Ideally, we'll hit a white man off the top. And then we can go Samson Lacrim into a second swamp before they go. Okay, Captain's Call. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll still play this. What color should we get? 100% of white. Oh. See, it's funny because black actually turns on two cards, white turns on two cards. <clears throat> it was not only the most complicated way to measure your brain, it also was the most inaccurate way to measure your brain <laughs> as well. Mike took no real measurements there, and we have no idea of the actual size of his brain because of them. You do know the size of my skull? <clears throat> Um, the circumference of my skull, rather. Yeah, but you got so much skin around it, though. That doesn't even count, really. Oh, this skin's bad. Kelser12, thank you so much. Back from the YouTube's 512s, Adam. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a solid meme. I will also Captain's Call. Captain Planet's Call, that is. He's our hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. It's true. He is. That's his job. How come all these cards are from core sets? I love main phase telling time because I'm always like, yes, you're digging. You don't have anything good and you're looking for something good. You know what the problem is? Tell me. Captain Planet did a terrible job. How dare you? Did he really? Have I seen Don Shield's Captain Planet? Yes, I have. That's, that's a good one. <clears throat> that is a solid meme. Meme, if you will. One solid meme. Mimi. Hey man, let me see that plague lord. Well, Captain Planet's fictional, so it's hard to ask California how he did. However, if we're talking about on the cartoon, did he not do a fine job on the cartoon? What would you have done different? What did he do that you didn't actually agree with? So he didn't do really a lot of cleaning up. He mainly just beat up random random dudes who like to pollute. He didn't really like clean up any of the pollution. What? Yeah, but he's not the, he's not a janitor, man. He should be. 
He's going to take police he's down gonna, to zero. He's going to put a sunder on bad guys who like to loot and plunder. Yeah, but, like, who's going to clean up the mess, though, you know? <laughs> I mean, the freaking planeteers can do that. Oh, and now it's the planeteers' job. It's everyone's job. You live on this planet, don't you? No. Where do you live? Uh, With my dad. Jimbo's Express Planet? He lives on Jimbo's Express Planet. It's not much, but, you know, it's... Yeah, good rent. Jimbo's Express Planet has good rent. Good rent. What if this said sacrifice a permanent target creature gets neg one, neg one until end of turn? Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't it be? Answer me. I asked you a question. Answer me! <clears throat> oh, look at that. A double white card. I think we gotta risk it for the biscuit again. How do you feel about that? Yeah, risk it. All for the biscuit. <coughs> Again, we have about a 28, 20%, 20% shot, huh? Mm. You can't play anything else. I think we're all going to have to leave Earth eventually to, uh, <laughs> to hide from rat debtors. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got him with that I always forget about the rat debtors. <laughs> I really wish I could sacrifice this to fling. Or to this guy. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Uh, that's If I play Blinding Angel and they have no way to deal with it or block it, they just can't win, right? Yeah. Huh. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna not play Demonic Pack because I think we're probably better off not doing that. Bad guys who like to loot and blunder. Did you forget about your ride debt? I did. Wow, yeah. that's messed up. You'll never get it paid off at this rate. You think you know a guy and then he never pays his rat debt. I ain't paying no stinking filthy rats. You Oh, but you were good enough to take money from them? Yeah, they wow. deserve it. They deserve what? Being Having their money taken? Yeah. I feel like I need to kill this guy. Actually, I can't. So three. three. I was gonna say, how are you gonna do that? I, I mean, I can stack three guys. That's the ability on the card. But like, that feels bad. I can also fling it. No, I can't. That doesn't work either. Dang it! Because they're just gonna draw so many cards here. You'll pay for this planet. I actually probably should have killed Mentor last turn when they played Adaptive Automaton. We're the Planeteers. You can be one too. Cause saving Michael is the thing to do. Looting and polluting is not the way. Hear what Michael B. has to say. The power is yours. Mm, Done do the cheese. Don't do the cheese? Don't do the cheese. Don't do the cheese? No idea what you're saying right now. <laughs> Absolutely no idea what you're saying. Perfect. <clears throat> Are you saying don't do the cheese? Maybe. Fascinating. Utterly. I'm going to sacrifice this song simulacrum. How do you feel about that? Fine. Actually, we're going to go one, two, one. Looting and polluting is not the way. Hear what Michael B. has to say. The power, it is yours. The power is George. The power is George. I'm not sure that's accurate, but it feels it feels right. So after eating a sandwich, I decided to drill Captain Planet in the face with my crumpled up tinfoil. He will go down like a sack of... I don't think so. I don't think it's like I don't think that's I don't think he's like weak against it I think he just hates it <clears throat> did you know that Captain Planet and the Joker are the same person did you know your mom and your dad are the same person got him <laughs> roasted <clears throat> send the burn ward over
That's a good card. That is a solid card. Yes. Yes. I, uh... I don't know how to beat that in this cube. What are you doing? You scratching your arm? Yeah. Are you picking off your scabs? I had some schmutz on it. Oh, yeah? What kind of schmutz? Did you get, did you get your dinner on yourself? Maybe. That's something. Oh, that's a good one. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. B1 P Map. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> You're the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. Or is it Bip Mac? Could be. Well, all of them have to go in, right? So, you know, I guess we're I guess we're doing that. Here we go. Attack all at the Jidian. Jidian Gora. Get out of your straight hair. Are you guys best friends? I mean, we're very good friends, yeah. Weird. Well, that's a strange question. <clears throat> we're not definitely not father and son. Oh, God. That's like a rumor that I really actually don't even like. It's just weird. Looting and polluting is not the way. I'll choose this guy. I'll sack this guy. Seems like a profitable uh, series of things that we just did there. I have no idea what's going on. Aunt and nephew. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm his nephew and he's my aunt. Also, turtles. Think about it. Looting and polluting is not the way. Please stop. <laughs> God, he won't stop. Just do me a favor. Yeah, man. Worry less about your energy bill. Okay. So I got this thing in the mail. It says, worry less about your energy bill. <clears throat> and I thought it was like some kind of weird ad or something. But they want to have like a fixed bill. Uh, and that means I'll just pay an average amount over the course of a year. So for 12 months, it would be 212. Um, and it says like, it's, it's determined by your past electrical usage, his, historical average weather temperatures, and a program premium. So it might be less than, uh, yeah, I figured you were going to do that. Oh, let's do this. Target you. Kapow. <clears throat> what up, Gajura? Gideon Gajura? Don't play a flyer. Or play the biggest flyer ever and I'll just reprisal it. Just play like a... That's yes! You did everything I asked you to do. I asked you to do it and you did it. You could have Get him, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! You guys should call over some hot chicks. Wow. <laughs> God. Oh boy. Good times. I feel like we're actually in good shape and I don't feel like risking this right now. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to actually um, I'm going I'm to go over the past two years of electric bills and see if this is a lower average. If it's a lower average then I'll go with this for sure. I think it's just a better it's just nicer to be like, oh, this month it's 165. This month it's 340. It's just nicer to have like a flat rate every month so I know exactly how much we're paying. Uh, I would love to get solar but I rent, so I don't really have that option and I'm not going to invest solar panels into a into a rental house as you can likely imagine can they just never attack again is that the is that what's implied through this yes is this a commander card yes <laughs> yes 
All right, let's see what happens. Tell your tenant, I'm the tenant. You're my landlord? Look at me. I am the tenant now. Look at me. I am the tenant now. Okay, well, that's good. If they try to flip this guy, I'm just going to shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot, shoot him in the butt. Those hostages are whatever she helped save energy calls. Yes, actually, that's true. Because, uh, well, it's actually hot in Florida. So I would likely need to invite cold chicks over. So. <clears throat> So they didn't get to attack. They just never get to attack again until they can deal with this card? This seems busted. Does this not seem busted to you? It's a pretty good card if you can't answer it. Yeah, like, you just never get to attack again. How is this a real thing? I feel like I'm cheating. Like, I shouldn't have this ability. Like, this is not a reasonable amount of power for what... No one man should have all this power, as Kanye West would say. The clock's ticking, and I just count the hours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we actually have two outs. We have Warp World, and we have War Priest of Thune. And it's actually five out of 23 cards instead of five out of... It's actually... I mean, there's two... We have two different cards that have to be in five out of 23 cards. I'm going to risk it. Wait, why? Wait, why what? They're, like, locked out of the game. Because I want to play cool cards. Really? You don't want to do it? I mean, I'll err on the side of caution for you. Narlock, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Shoot him. Shoot him and boot him. <clears throat> Triskelion ain't play that game. Watch, next card's going to be Warp World. Now it's going to be real silly. And then I'm going to yell at you. Then we can play accordingly and play Demonic Pact. And don't then we, Don't we hit you again. <laughs> I wouldn't even Warp World right now. We're just winning the game. Until we're not. I guess you're, you're actually right. They would actually be ahead if they warp rolled at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're definitely not warp rolling now. Actually, they can't attack still, though. <laughs> all right, well. Like, this is all very cool, but. Oh, uh, that's a good one. We're the Planeteers. You can be one, too. Saving Michael B. is the thing to do. Man, this is a broken ability, dude. Looting and polluting is not the way. I really, I'm actually not a fan of whoever got this song stuck in my head, because... Who was it? Where did the Captain Planet meme come from? Was it Captain's Call? Did you? Was it you? It might have been. I don't remember. That's a big boy. <clears throat> Can we give all our team plus two, plus two, first strike, and lifelink? That seems like gas, right? Seems pretty good. Okay, just keep fingers crossed that they don't have an answer for this guy. Oh, no, this is going to be the one turn they get it. Oh, no, I'm really scared right now. We did it. All right, they still get no combats. What happens when you flip the world then? That's a good question. <clears throat> We're not flipping the world so much as warping it. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack with everything. How's that sound? Decent. Decent. No. Yes. They all get first strike and lifelink. Come on. Just stop it. No, we're not gonna yield. we're not gonna use that this time. <clears throat> uh, pay X? No, I won't. What's well, gonna be like? Old, use this ability only as a sorcery, and I'll be like, oh god. This is where they got subtle wreckage. And I'm like, that's not even in a core set. What is what card? CTB. What are you saying right now? There's a lot of cards that are like that you could say that about on this single on this board. Oh, this is this does not look like it's gonna go well. Y'all pay for this planet. Do they have a stifle? They better. They better. <laughs> He's like, oh, I thought you were gonna forget about that. Dang. 
All right. I feel like this is good. Oh, God. What life do we go to here? A lot. Oh, God. 52. Oh, and they just died from that. Brutal. All right. So that was a good game. But it was not GG. It was BG. I thought it was GG. For us, at least. <laughs> I had a good time. I want to bring the Smash in because they had a lot of artifacts. How do you feel about that, Michael? Seems good. Oh, they also had uh, Platinum Angel. So if I can just go... Actually, this seems like a Day of Judgment matchup. Mm. They have so many creatures, dude. Okay. They go so wide. <coughs> See how you smash after your hands fall off. That was actually perfectly timed. I'm impressed. Also, Bloodfire Colossus. All right, I'll take this out because I'll... Like, they go so wide, though. I said it was fine. Yeah, you didn't like it, though. <sighs> you didn't like it. Did you take the Smash out? I took the Krenko's Command out. Smash is a three drop. It's right here. No, the other Smash. Smash to Smithereens? I didn't play both. I just played regular Smash. Isn't Smash Smithereens better? No, Smash lets you draw a card. Smash is three mana. It says draw a card. Oh, okay. Smash to Smithereens is two mana. It deals three damage. I'd rather have the card than three damage, right? It says draw a card. What more do you need? Yeah, but that other one deals damage. Is that really more important to you than drawing a card? No. You're right. Like, what are you talking about right now? What, what if they're at three, though? Well, I guess they would... I guess... You know, I guess. That's right. Caves of Coilus on the top. One time. One time. That's... I don't think so. If we can get four... I'd rather... I'm more concerned with getting four lands than ramping once we're at four lands. That's really the strategy there. Okay. If we can hit one planes, this hand is nutso. Brando, good to hear it, buddy. Thank you for saying so. All right, that's actually still fine. <clears throat> Looting and polluting... Is not the way. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> Wow, fashion late to the party, Mox Diamond. That's still an okay draw. It actually is. I agree with you. What is that noise? I don't know what the noise is. Mike dying? <laughs> Are you dying? Are you making a weird noise? Were you? Was it? Mike was like stroking the microphone. Was that what you? Was that what the noise was? Here, he's gonna Hold do on. it right now. Be quiet. Yeah, that was it. Why do you do these weird things that have to do with, like... I think you forget that we're actually live and everything you do or say around this area, people can hear it amplified. I'm just going to play this guy. I'd rather have a body... Two, three more power on the board than uh, a marble diamond. Also, if we get... Um, face flick had a great sound. Just like, they st I'd look, it's for the people, Michael. It's for the people. I'm trying to... Yeah, uh-huh. <clears throat> looting and polluting they they discarded this invoke what did we have that was invocable your mom my mom my mom my, my mom I guess we just attack with a tendon here I mean, if we draw any other land, we can play Sarah Angel next turn, which seems pretty strong against this deck. The face flick had a great sound. That's just a funny sentence. Hey, man, you know what's got a good sound? That face flick. My dad. Wow, that's got to be so loud, dude. Do that again. I want to. I want to see that. I want to see how high it goes. That's just not bad. It's probably bad because it is just breathing, but. Waited all evening to see rank, and at 4.30, he's online. Is that good or bad? I can't tell. <clears throat> Any black, we can play this. Any, We can play this. I guess we can play this either way, right? That's what you're going to use your claustrophobia on. Oh, and it taps it? So, like, oh, that's that's nice. So you could have actually used it on Sarah Angel and tapped it down. Oh, I see. This is how you're going to be. Hmm. Now I guess we're playing Demonic Pack to kill it. 
All we need is a swamp. All right, well, I guess we'll play around Sir Angel. Is this creatures you control? No, it's just this. Okay, I was like, oh my god, that'd be nuts. That would be nits. Nits. Shut up. It's a Sarah Angel mirror match, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, that was good. Concentrate's a good card. Four mana to draw three cards? That's a bargain. It's just slightly more expensive. Harmonize. Oh, it's the same cost. Yeah, but it's a blue version. Blue doesn't really get draw three for four mana, though. Not without, Apparently like, it does. Card or, not anymore. This is from like eighth edition, bro. It's just two mana more. It's just one mana oh, more. Name Resplendent Angel. Divination. Uh, yes, but that's a big deal. Between two and three. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, you mean cards? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Holy... <laughs> Sick draw. Oh, and we got the next. We got the mana for this now, or for the activation now. Oh man, everything is coming up, Millhouse. Come at me, bro. I'm just taking it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I can't go back far enough to clip it. It was a good sound. Wow, that's really funny. I thought you were just kidding at first because you wanted to hear it again, like just encouraging me to flick him in the face. But man, they really like the sound. I'm gonna fling you this guy. I don't want you to draw extra cards here. <clears throat> I wonder if you actually just name Angel here. I can't imagine you do. Making this a five five is good against both of these. Yep. All right. Well, that is what happened. Did not attack. No, I think because we can double block maybe. Oh sure. I still think we activate this, gain five, make another angel, and then we have two angels. Yeah. I think they're basically dead to do mention. Oh man, if we just if we just waited to play this and then fling it. Woo! They have to block this hundred percent. Oh, it's not going to be alive, so I guess we're not going to get an angel. I'm not smart. I, I thought it was like whenever you gain five life, you make an angel. Um, this is a card that I have not played with a tremendous amount, so the exact ability was a little bit... Uh, I see. Well then. Huh. Well, that's awkward. We're Priest of Thune one time. Caves of Quillos. Okay. Big Papa Scuttle. It's got to be Big Papa Scuts, right? God, if we had that fling still. Oh, man. What up, Kerwit? <clears throat> Good seeing you, bro. All right, we got five turns with this. That's fine. Do you have a commander lined up for your next EDA? I do not yet, actually. I have two people who have emailed me about commander stipulations. Not stipulations, but uh, deck critiques. Um, but they're kind of like... Not they haven't committed yet. Oh, that's a good dude. Hey man. Yeah man. Are you gonna straighten one of those out? <laughs> oh wow, that's an old meme right there. Remember that time I kept showing you how straight it was? I do. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes. Yes, use the ability. For Doomhammer. He can't even block that. No, well he can block with the Lantern War Leader, but like that's a I mean that's not good. It's not good. Do you have a pump spell? Oh I didn't think so. I'm real tempted to just demonic pact here. But I'm less so because our priest is on board. So I'm like, eh. <clears throat> I'll 
getting is, desperate. Yeah, I was like, this is a desperation swing for sure. You could just also take it. There's no reason to, though. Like, if they're going to Day of Judgment here, I'd rather not take the damage. This feels like a Day of Judgment swing. Yep. Six, yeah. All right. Well, they have one card. We have one card. I think we just have to play this now. I know, right? That's how I'm feeling about it, too. We really don't. We shouldn't even be playing this card in our deck. Like, <clears throat> yes, we should. I mean, I guess go for it. I don't like it. I don't think so either. We have to win in four turns. Like, we have to deal them two extra Yeah, wait until they play, like, a relevant creature that we can't have to kill. All right. No gamble, no future. Which is a funny thing to say after you actually didn't gamble. Oh, God, don't hit something. Swift. Yes, thank you. A nice 2-3 three for 3. Hmm. So now we probably play it. Though we do have time. We have a lot of time, actually. So we got to hit Warp World within the next 5 cards, right? So 5 out of 20, it's almost a 25% chance of hitting it. Which isn't super great. It's not super great. I don't know what to do. Oh, just wait. The thing is, if we draw, like, heroic reinforcements, that should also be lethal. <coughs> All right, we'll just wait. I'm going to keep playing lands, though, because we're going to get to a point where we're going to draw two cards off this. I just want to have lands in play. Oh, Isereth would work, too, because we can get back our priest. I'm pretty sure we boarded out Isereth. Yeah, now we're getting a little bit a little bit far behind. <laughs> Less so now. Let's take another hit. Hold! <clears throat> if I played Pat and Angel here, that would be actually disgusting. I would be so on board for that. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, let's do that. One, two, three, four. Day of Judgems. Plague Lord. <clears throat> and then we can actually play this and then shoot them if we get an attack with this guy. Oh, the old yeet has been called. <laughs> oh, yeet! Good old fashioned yeet. Yep. Bye. Yep. Bye. It's a bold attack. Is it? Why so? That's six. We have a four four. A bunch of random things that could kill him. That's a that's a valid point, my friend. That is a valid point. Does it can we dome them with that card? This guy? No, a demonic pack. Yeah. You can play that. I am. I'm gonna attack first, make sure we get through. Alright, we did. We did. <clears throat> Alright, you gotta you gotta get rid of this by next turn. Dome them. Even if I play Beacon of Immortality, they only go to four, which is pretty hilarious. If you're watching on YouTube, hit those yeet and subscribe buttons. I'm gonna give them the good game, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send it because I don't want to be that preemptive GG guy. But it was not GG, it was BG. He does have an out of us misclicking to lose the game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He does have an out. That's why you're the pro no way. <clears throat> you didn't misplay. You didn't do anything wrong here. I didn't see any, like, glaring misplays here. What's his name? Take two from... McGrim. McGrim. Okay. You know McGrim. 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 The McGrim. Oh, what are we going to draw? Oh, there was our answer to it. That's the hotness. Do you want to change anything? I like the deck. I think it's fun. Our mana's the biggest issue. But, like, I feel like if we hit our land drops, we're fine. We just haven't been hitting them. You're disgusting. I kept it away from the mic. I kept it away. Kept it. The way? I know what you're thinking. Kept it the way. 
We're done. See, this is what I mean. Like, two lands. Any red land here is great, though. Because then we can just be like, two drop, three drop, three drop, three drop. Blood Fire Colossus. What do you think, man? You want to keep this or ship it? <clears throat> how many red drops? How many red cards? Or how many red sources do we have? Six or seven. Seven, probably. I think it's seven. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically, in Wizard World, after you can kill, play Demonic Pact to kill your opponent, don't you just die a little later? Yes. But they died first, and that's the important part. I mean, it's really good if we had red. I'm going to risk it. Even if we don't hit red, we still have a turn if we hit any land for this guy, so... We have two draws. We have a second turn and our third turn draws. <clears throat> I believe. I believe in the heart of the cards. I also believe in a thing called love. Zaichi, I actually saw that the uh, the you're not half bad at creating universes yourself kit. I saw this one the other day. And then I lost it, dude. I definitely started crying when I read this. At this desk, no less. Oh my god, we did it. Got there. What's the other one say? Uh, you think that's a coincidence that I just drew that land after looking at that Stanley image? Nope. It's <laughs> pretty good. <clears throat> Man, another Marble Diamond deck. This is a 2-2 many pieces of white to 1-1. This is a 1-2 that makes a 1-1 flyer. I'm not sure which one's better at this point. Probably the 2-2. Because you have Flames of the Firebrand, so if they play something, it looks like a 3-3. Did you see the picture of Doctor Strange and his wife is winning this? Oh, God, I'm going to lose it, dude. I don't think so. Also, if you guys are subscribed, feel free to join the subscriber Discord channel. There's always, like, a ton of people in there. It's great. They named Goblin. Interesting, because they're, like, Abzan colors. Oh, the old abs and goblins. Don't you wish your goblins were hot like me? Don't you? Don't you wish that? No. Okay. Do you wish uh, Captain Planet was real so that he could take the pollution down to zero? No, because I'm garbage. Because I'm garbage. <laughs> I mean, no argument here. <laughs> This deck is very strange. They put a depth to top. Oh god, I don't think they know this has first strike. Oh, I think they just figured it out. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Wow, no oh. blocks whatsoever? Jeez, aggressive. I don't know how we're winning with this deck, but it's, it's working. Did you see who's going to here in there? I mean, a curve's pretty good. A lot of decks dirtle. A lot of, a lot of cube decks dirtle, that's for sure. That's for true. Yeah, we're playing cube. That's what I meant. What? That's not a dirtle at all. Yikes. Uh, they certainly not a dirtle. Here. They go block here, block here. They take three, four, five. They go to two. I think we can actually just attack here. Oh, they get to activate this guy next turn. Good lord. Good lord. <clears throat> Yikes. That's bad news, bears. Holy crap. Yeah, we need to deal with that guy like immediately. Yikes. Actually, well, they're going to gain 8, so they're going to go to 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They gain 7, right? Oh, he's a 6, 6. Okay. Yeah, so... so and they would have to tap out for that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I mean, that's an option. They could do it, but... God, he's got Vigilance, too? Oh, dang. That's I forgot about that. All right. I was your opponent last round. I noticed it was you at the last second before you conceded, so I sent you a private chat. I literally spent the last 15 minutes trying to subscribe so I saw I support you if we ever cross paths in game. I appreciate everything you saw. If I'm emotional, I'm in a rough day and I'm hammered. Update. It took 25 minutes because I had to validate my email and it was a pain in the butt because I have an old account on Twitch. Narlog, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. That is a great story. 
Uh, second ability is definitely also instant speed. I don't, I don't feel good about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to single-handedly kill us. Especially because we couldn't hit a fifth land there for Sarah Angel. I think if we, if think we hit Sarah, we could actually Pumps. get We could have raced. I guess we could just chump block. They would block here. They would have gone to four. <sighs> Hoping for a reprisal. Also, if I had a way to sacrifice, guys, like if we were able to play Plague Lord here, I could just be like, in response, sacrifice so you gain no life. <laughs> Got him, boys! We're gonna get rid of him now so we can actually attack. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have lethal on board, so. <gasps> lucky, 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 lucky. You tease me with the bust, man. I know. I'm about to bust. And that's a Krenko. That guy's fine. What else you got? A uh, Johnny? Okay, that's fine. That's true. So they get one more activation out of this guy. I'm not terribly concerned. They have one card. They can make two two little Krenko boys. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's get a black here. For obvious reasons. Um, let's kill a Johnny. Yeah, you can jump here. Three, they would have blocked here. They would have taken five, gone to two. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, Cranko could get out of hand. One more land, though, and we can gain life from Resplendent Angel and make more. Yes. Naralok, I can read your thing. I got, you don't have to tell me. I can read it. Please tell Mike, Mike, I love him, and, and he's my favorite. I appreciate that. Naralok said he's you're his favorite. Okay. That cat is messing that thing up. That cat messes everything up. I need to get a different litter box. I want to get one of the ones we had like in Seattle where like it was just a tough work and like one of the big was that better I think they're better because you don't get the litter on the outside as much hmm. because there's no door for it to come out of he's just a real shit burger that's all <laughs> I don't know how they beat this they have one card they can make a goblin this turn alternatively we can play any one of these three creatures so uh, actually, they block here. They take one, two, three. Yeah, I guess we're just alphaing here. And then we pump, and he's dead, right? Yeah, that seems good. I guess. Oh no, they can actually activate this guy. That's why we didn't attack with everything, because they can activate Soul of Theros and make two guys. This is not why we. This is why I didn't want to do this, and then you guys kind of convinced me to do it. Unfortunately. Uh, Sorry, guys. I drank a bottle of Maker's. Wow. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, Wait, you messed up. Yeah, they did mess up. <clears throat> oh no! Well, they only make they can only block with one dude anyway, so. We could have blocked with two dudes. No, wait. It would only made one goblin. Never mind. Right, but then this guy would be tapped. Yeah, right. And then this guy would be tapped. So maybe they don't do it. Are they not gaining the life? They have to gain the life here, right? Yeah, okay. That's actually fine because it gets it out of the bin. We're at 17 now. Yeah, all right. This was good. Uh, they're basically dead. I drank a bottle of Maker. That's a lot. That's a lot. Mike just read that, of course, but... Our deck is sweet. What was for dinner? We had burgers. Burgies. Burgums. From the old Red Robin. Yum. The Burgle McRobins. I don't know, I think that's what they're called. I just made that up. You know what's funny? I'm kind of tempted to bring in Righteousness so they can block their Soul of Theros and just bust it. I'm about to bust. I, of course, had... It's a little narrow-minded. What? Because it's a little narrow-minded. Measure your skull again. Okay. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Red Robin. What's for second dinner? Um, probably tacos. You ain't get no tacos for no second dinner. You tell me what to do. I actually didn't tell you what to I'll do. I'll get tacos all over the place. I don't know what that means. I'll get tacos everywhere. I kind of like Archangel of Tides here. Force him to pay me. So hard to cast. You're right. I agree with you. I like Day of Judgment too, just because it looks like they go wide with things like Krenko and Adaptive Automaton. Plus, we don't have that many answers to things like Krenko. Have Mike go invisible. I don't know if I could just make him go invisible. I'm not sure if that's my within my wizarding powers. You know what he meant. Kirk Kerwin, I guess I just have to buy Mike an invisible shirt. Oh, I like this because we can actually sandbag everything up until the point where we Day of Judgment. And then we can go soul into heroic reinforcements. Seems good. My girlfriend said I drank half a bottle of Makers and stopped lying just to look cool. <laughs> You drank half a bottle. Stop lying to look cool. And we were all like, God, can you believe Narlock? He drank that whole bottle of Makers. That guy is... And drinking a whole model might send you to the hospital. What's a model? Got him. <sighs> Mike, if, if Kura bought you a, a green shirt, what size would he have to buy? Triple uh, X. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of green, boy. Um, do we just wait or do we cast it now? Oh, we can't cast it now, so I guess we just wait. See, I answered my own question. I don't even need, I don't even need your help anymore. The Costco size bottle too. Jeez, you'd be dead for sure. Don't you wish your goblin was a lot like me? Don't you wish your this is a lot of diamonds, man? Yes. Oh my God, they keep playing things. This is great. Oh God, I'm just gonna wipe them all away. Are you ready? Uh, I'd wait. They have one card. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> I don't want to take another six damage just so I can get one more card of value. Uh -oh. I don't want to kill some creatures. I want to oh, kill all the dang creatures. It. This card was a good one to wait for. Actually, I don't know how long we have to play that guy, I guess. Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we're playing reinforcements here. Yeah, all right, let's pass. What up, Hodge Gulashi? It's your boy. Yeah. God, we should have just waited for the Krenko, I guess. I had no idea. Told you. You didn't know either. I told you to wait. You didn't tell me nothing. You know, my dad. You could have just took in six. And took in, I could have took in six. Mm -hmm. God, now they make a million. Oh, I mean, this guy's just going to blow up the world. Uh, we need nine mana though well I mean we're going to play it and then we're going to blow up the world like we're going to take a lot but it's fine we gain eight life next turn they can't attack with this guy that's so random <laughs> that's so random oh I'll just kill it now yep make your four goblins which is actually a lot but I, I think it's probably better to yep you got it there's a lot of tokens Krenko is like Krenko escalates very very quickly and sentence is written like it was from a robot I go to Costco for 10 gallons of human food I'm actually gonna play reinforcements now because we don't get the value but I want to have more guys on board for next turn so we can soul of Theros I'm also not gonna attack when you have one two three four five six seven eight guys on board <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird noise <clears throat> Uh, we can't play this and pump with Soul of Theros in the same turn. Hmm, that Garug is a little scary. Is it? Yeah, if he overruns us, we're doomed. Doomed. I think we actually just play this guy, and then next turn we can pump and and Bloodfire Colossus. How do you feel about that? Seems good. Yeah, they're not an overrun range. This might be the win, yeah. I uh one, two, three, we take like four. Yeah, this is a lot of 
Yeah, they have one turn, and then next turn we get to go plus two, plus two, six damage to literally everything. So our soldiers do die here, but that's okay. Actually, they can activate both of these, right? I guess we just don't so, attack. Wait, what? And only four damage. Yeah, but this guy's taking six already from the Bloodfire Colossus. So we just want to like leave it up? No, I think we attack first, gain eight, and then we can blow everything up. You know what I mean? Yeah, just wait till his turn to blow everything up. Well, I don't want them to activate Garrick again. I guess that's actually better. Yeah, maybe that's true. I was going to attack and then pump, gain eight life, and then blow everything up. Yeah. But we can't do that on our turn, right? Like, I mean, we have to pump the same turn and blow everything up. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do that then. I don't think I... No, I'm just going to pass. This is fine. EOT, I'm going to blow everything up. Because they can't really do anything here. Uh, if we swing with all and then blow everything up, like they can just land mine our our soul of Theros so then it dies because it'll already have six damage on it <clears throat> and I'd rather just go into my turn with a clear board and a soul of Theros so we can kill the Garrick straight up well either way the soul of Theros is going to die no it's not we pump it our team it's an 8-8 eight, eight, and then just take six yeah but they can still land mining can't they not if we do it at the end of their turn then we go into our turn with a 6-6 six, six with no damage on it do, wait, how do landmines work Hard attacking creature. Oh, it's only attacking. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. I thought it was just any time. No, no, no. That'd be insane. That would just be like shocks. We're at 94 life. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, because all the damage. Link. Yeah. Oh, oh my so God. It dealt, so everything it dealt damage to you. Get, oh, Jesus. That's insane. I was actually going to pump it again, but I was like, I guess we're good now. This should be the end of the game, right? Oh my God. Yeah. Once this guy gets lifelink and it deals six to everything. That's yeah. a lot of life. I didn't even think about that. I looked down and I was like, I think we're at 16. Maybe I want to just gain eight here. Oh, we're at 93. I guess we're fine. Mike, what is your favorite flavor of human food? Hmm. <laughs> Who says human food? Wow, that's a real... Uh, wow, 100%. You are 100% a lizard person. <laughs> My favorite <laughs> flavor of human food is probably... Literally Ted Cruz. Saltiness. I'm picking a flavor, not a food. <laughs> is that a flavor? A flavor of human food. Salt is the best spice. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, we are not going away. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons and hit that bell. That's when you get notifications whenever a new video is up. And they're up daily. And uh, you can check me out on Twitch and you can check me out on Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. You can also check out franklapore. Nope, that's not it. Meundies.com slash franklapore. And uh, you'll get 15% off your first order. You'll also get free shipping for your turns. And uh, there's a bunch of sweet options there. Super, super comfortable. Um, a lot of people in the stream vouch for them because they ordered them. And Micromodal! <laughs> Micromodal is correct. Mike Micromodal. Uh, super soft, super comfortable. Helps me out, helps you out. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.